Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. Welcome to Amazed by the Quran, a series in which I like sharing with you things I find amazing about the Quran. Today, uh, a, a phrase that the brothers of Yusuf mentioned, وَتَكُونُ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ قَوْمًا صَالِحِينَ After you throw, throw him into a well or kill him even, um, after that, you'll have the exclusive attention of your father. And then, you know, some time pass, passes and you will be good people. وَتَكُونُ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ قَوْمًا صَالِحِينَ these people have in their mind that they are bad. They've, they're not saying they're good people because they're saying we're going to become good afterwards. So yes, I have a problem. But the reason for my problem is that one over there. And once he's out of the picture, then I can actually be a good person again. There are people in this world who deny that they're bad at all. Like shaitan has beautified their deeds to them and they think that they're doing great. You know, they're, they're وَهُمْ يَحْسَبُونَ أَنَّهُمْ يُحْسِنُونَ صُنْعًا They assume that they've done great work. But then there are people who actually know that they're wrong. They know they're messed up. But they won't acknowledge that it's themselves that has to change. They'll blame some outside factor or usually some other person and say, so long as that person's in my life or so long as that person is doing this, this and this, I have to continue to be you know, a terrible human being. And once I can get rid of them or cause them harm or do, you know, in this case, even kill them or remove them entirely, until I do that, I have no way of becoming a good person. In other words, your goodness is now entirely dependent on another. This is the biggest lie a person can tell themselves. That you hide your problems, your own flaws in character, and you mask them as somebody else's, you know, somebody else is the reason. Nobody else is the reason for the way you are, you are. You have the ability to change. And you can't blame anybody else. Otherwise, there's no difference between you and Yusuf's brothers. You hope to become a better person, but you know, how can you? You're still with this, this person over here. Or they're still in your, oh, it's because of my dad. It's because of my mom. It's because of my brother. It's because of my wife. It's because of my husband. None of that should matter. None of that should matter. So, some of the greatest prophets were married to some of the most terrible women in the world. And they were the greatest people. Some of the greatest prophets had horrible children. Some, some prophets had terrible parents. That they didn't say, well, I had a tough upbringing. Ibrahim is not going to say, I had a tough upbringing. What do you want me to do? <laughs> He's not going to do that. SubhanAllah. We cannot hide behind other people for our own flaws in character. Yes, they impact us. Yes, they emotionally scar us. But you know what? This is a disease. And we have to, we have to learn to stand for ourselves. This is something Allah teaches us in His book. This is what I want to leave you with. A human being is actually in best view of his own self. Ala nafsi, he suggests even only on himself, meaning you cannot see anything more clearly than you can see yourself, even if you come up with excuses. Deep down inside, you know and I know. May Allah make us of people who don't hide behind excuses and don't put our problems and our flaws as the res responsibility of other people, burdening them with it. May Allah help us fix ourselves to the best of our ability and better our relationships with people all around us.